are you ready to hang with your digital besties? What Day Is It? is a podcast covering every girl problem, life struggle, and biz reality out there. So pour yourself a glass of wine and get ready to laugh, relate, and celebrate not having it all together. I think I've started to really just try to focus on being in the moment, whatever role that is for me at the moment, letting that be fulfilling and like putting myself there and then moving on to the next thing when I can. And some days I don't do any work. And some days my branding people call me and be like, you haven't posted an Insta story in three days. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I've been living. So I get it, but you can't let let that idea of balance control you. Hello, friendships. Hey, friends. We're back. And we're in LA. We are. La La Land. In some sunshine. I'm so happy to we be here. We are. We left snow. Yeah, we did. For palm trees and sunshine. Like, yep. cannot complain. No, me neither. We've neither. got some bubbles. Yes. We're at a really cute house with a really fun, exciting guest. Yeah, Caitlin. Villasusa. <laughs> I killed it. No, 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 no. I didn't want to butcher the last name. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, we're so excited to have actually like our first podcaster guest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Can I talk now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Say all the things. You guys did a great job with the last name, by the way. Thank it's you. It's tough. Yeah. My dad still calls me Caitlin Villa So I'm like, dad, that's not my name. And that's not it. What's your I, background? Um, my husband is Cuban. Okay. So oh, okay. That, cool. I'm Caitlin Riley, okay. which was way easier. <laughs> and then Jordy, Jordy Villas. Oh, I love that Cuban. using your uh, maiden name for your daughter's name. Really good, but not <laughs> like it was like it was fail. cute <laughs> fail. But I still haven't. We've been married for six years, and I still haven't changed my um, license or anything oh, like okay. that. So we go to a doctor's office, and it is very confusing oh, for people. I They're know. like, "You're Caitlin Riley, and she's Ri- she's Riley." Like I. <laughs> I don't who who is here to be seen. Yeah, better Aww. better and but I liked it. I liked it. And Riley's two or she's Riley is six. Oh, she's six. And so then that. I've got Everly who's two and a half. I oh love God, that. Do you call her Evie? That's Evie. Such a cute name. Yeah, my um like my stepsister has a daughter named um Evelina and they call her Evie. So and I, I Eveline? love Evelina. 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 And they that's call her pretty. Evie. How yeah. old is she? Uh, but I think she's like four. Okay, so they were kind of like ahead of the curve. I feel like I'm starting to hear it more and more. No, I love it. And Everly is Channing Tatum's daughter's name. Right. And I knew my husband was probably going to feel a little weird about that. <laughs> because he's not into that whole celebrity naming your child after them. So I waited until he really liked it. And then I was like, oh, hey, by the way. And he was like, <laughs> no. Well and I was played. like, yes, but we like it. But it's Strategy. so unique and so cute. I love it. She, she's such an Evie, too. Aww. And it's E-V-I-E. And then she was maybe like eight months old and he started spelling it E-V-Y. And I was like, you can't just do that. <laughs> change the name. You can't just change <laughs> just it like that. The child. Like I, ma- <laughs> I made it this. So that's that. Yeah, no, they're super cute. Are their personalities similar? Nothing alike. Who's Completely like the different. spitfire and who's the... Right, my oldest is like complete older child. Puerocita. Like I think it just happens. She was, she was how old? She was three and a half when Evie was born. And she just right away, like you jump into that like older, caring hmm. sibling. She's kind of always been an old soul. She's a lot like my sister, I feel like. And then Evie is just a lunatic, <laughs> like a cute, a cute lunatic. Like she's cute, which I, t- I tell her all the time. You are so lucky. You're so cute because I don't know if I'd put up with you otherwise, but she's so cute. <laughs> but she's the crazy And one. she's the one who was singing Halsey, you were t- just telling us? No. Oh, so my Riley? six-year-old okay. was, yeah, I was just telling the girls that she was singing Halsey um, without me last night. <laughs> And it's like their jam. And it's funny hearing Evie sing it to the two-year-old because she can barely talk and she can say the words of this Halsey song. And But I was listening to Riley sing it and she um, <laughs> might have heard the explicit version at some point. And ever since, she has listened to the clean version. But when she sang it last night, I was like, Riley. And she was like, I know it's just hard to say it because I know the word that's supposed to be there. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, that's not going to work. She's like, I'm not into radio edits. <laughs> you actually weren't kidding when you said she's an old soul. But yeah, that's know. not going to work for me. And then we proceeded to get in this whole long conversation about bad words. Yeah. Oh and God, she was like, it. is that worse than the D or is the D word worse than that? And I was like, oh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> like, that's like the worst word you could yeah. be saying. So just no. Uh-huh. Aww. Acceptable cutie. words are shoot, maybe, if it like is really required. But that's it. <laughs> Meanwhile. I've got a mouth like 
like a sailor. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me too. too. Me and my sister are two and a half years apart, so we're similar in age. And she was, she's definitely the mother. I was gonna siblings. say you're, you're the youngest. Yeah. No, I feel like I the older to, siblings are kind of. I have. Um, I know you have a lot of siblings. I have four, three siblings. So I'm a family of four. And you're, so you have what six siblings, order right? are you? I'm. I don't actually. Oh, but oh, I'll oh, tell you. I'll tell you about that. Whoa. I know everybody. Research is on. No, no. <laughs> I, you would. I would think that if I was just going on the research. I would think. I'm just going to cut that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Did you're it. good. No, it's actually something that has been funny in this whole podcasting experience because everybody, the first thing is like, what is it like to be one of seven? I'm like, I wouldn't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't know. So how many do you actually have? So there's, um, Bailey's dad is different than my dad. Okay. okay. So, which wasn't really until, and that's been one of the things with the podcast too. It's like everything starts, you know, coming out, which is funny because she's been in the business forever and that's just not something that was really talked about. Um, but so Bailey, I'm the second of Sean Connor and I, so we're three within three years. So I've got two brothers and then Bailey's got two brothers and a sister on her dad's side. Oh and then Bailey was the surprise like at the end. So she's got like six very much older siblings okay. and then, yeah, she's the very wow. baby wow. and she's the baby. Wow. Yeah. But everybody like super cool, super tight. My, That's my, amazing. yeah, my dad and her dad are super close. She calls my dad dad half the time. Like there's like a lot of love. So it's good. It's good. Yeah. But we're, yeah, not one of seven. (laughs) I don't think. (laughs) Although that would be fun. There's so many blended families now. Like my, I have three siblings and two of my um, younger, my younger siblings, they have a different mom. And then I have one older sibling. So, but I just consider them my full. So I just say. Yeah. That whole half thing. I don't even like saying that. No, me neither. Either does B. I never say that. She gets really sad when somebody says that. Yeah. Yeah. I it probably shouldn't like have said that. that right now, but no, 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 no. It, yeah, it is they know it is. that they're my they're my siblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. yeah. Um, so tell us, like, also your July baby, like us. We found that Stop. out. Stop. The two yes. of us are July babies. You guys have all the feelings too. Yes, I mean, too many. I'm not a cancer, but like okay, I'm, on the cu- I'm on the cusp. Are you a Leo? Yeah. Oh, you lucky duck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally I say lucky, but no, <laughs> I'm a stubborn asshole. No. <laughs> okay, whatever. I would take that over all the feelings. Yeah. And Everly was supposed to be my little one was supposed to be a Leo, and I went into labor a few weeks early. And my husband straight up said, "Is there any way you can stop?" <laughs> and I was like whoa dude <laughs> this is not how the body whoa, works. Dude. Classic boy. not only is this not how the body works but you can't talk bad about a sign when your wife is the sign <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you can't do that so you're a cancer i'm a cancer when's yeah, your birthday and everly is a cancer too i'm the 17th july okay. 17th what you're are you 10th, 10th. Right? yeah i'm the 26th yeah you have a lot of feelings yeah oh yeah <sighs> my poor boyfriend it's hard <laughs> man it is hard it, Wait, okay what signs jordan he is a Libra. What your your boyfriend is Jordan? Yeah. My husband is Jordy. Oh my God. But everybody, Stop. people call him Jordan all the time. It's not his name. And what size is Jordy? Jordy is a Gemini. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Dude, I am married to two people. <laughs> we talk about it a lot. I'm sorry. I'm like, am I getting Jordy one or Jordy two right now? <laughs> Jordy or Jordan? Will you just, <laughs> yeah, will you just, I should just start doing that. I, I should did, totally. I dated a few Geminis and I don't know how I feel about them. It's intense. Yeah. Banks is a Gemini. I'm referring to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is her boyfriend. So I'm bringing into the situation <laughs> here, the single girl you guys, with I her dog. I did not even think about that with... I did not even think about that with dog signs. But she's so true. She'll sleep and then she's a fucking psycho. Like she's just bouncing no, off the walls. But how funny. Yeah. And your boyfriend is what? A Libra. I don't know much about Libra. I don't either. When is Libra? Uh, uh, October 5th. Oh, ba- Bailey's a Libra. Okay. Bailey's October 15th. Okay. Yeah. So oh, tell me, tell me about him in a nutshell. <laughs> My boyfriend? Yeah. He's, oh, he's very like chill and laid back and doesn't really care about anything oh wow unfortunately (laughs) fortunately and unfortunately and unfortunately how long have you guys been together two and a half years so we lived together for about a year now so i mean i guess the libra and cancer mix works because you guys you and bailey work yes it's a good vibe honestly we work because like i'm i'm high like emotional what yeah (laughs) yeah you are you're highly emotional you (laughs) definitely are (laughs) but um i can hear your feelings (laughs) (laughs) i feel you though is bailey like that though she's super chill and laid back um hmm. oh. <laughs> she can she would be if she had the opportunity yeah. to be her lifestyle is probably her lifestyle different. is so bananas and I think it was easier for her actually when she was younger because my mom was kind of filtering all of the career stuff and for anybody who doesn't know Bailey um that's my sister who does the podcast with me my our podcast just between us and she has been acting since she was five so like my mom 
my mom took care of all the drama, I feel like. And then once Bailey got old enough now that she's like starting to handle some of it herself on the daily, I'd like the phone calls that I get from her. I'm just like, <sighs> like you poor thing. Mm-hmm. You know, she's got like 40 year old adults like yelling at her about things you have to that grow up should. So fast, I yeah, like, yeah. I, I can I can completely understand why child actors have such a hard time keeping their sanity, like just seeing the pressure that's on her every day. Just like in the last few months, for yeah. sure. So yes, she she was chill. Mm-hmm. And now she's like chill. And if she was sitting here right now, she would tell you she's like chill with a side of anxiety attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't we all have Which that? Which we're working through. Yeah, I know that anxiety thing is wicked. Yeah. But wine helps me. So. <laughs> oh yeah, we got our bubbles going. Okay, so tell us what it's like for a life in the day of Caitlin. You know, it really just depends. I feel like I kind of live two lives. I'm either straight up mom life. Um, which is the minute I open up my eyes, somebody is standing above me (laughs) telling me they're hungry or I forgot to leave water in the room last night or whatever it is. Um, get that. Yeah. (laughs) See my dog and I, she's eight. So we've been together for a long time and we were cool because she could sleep all day. I'm like that, that is my girl. (laughs) (laughs) These two, not so much. Um, so that for me is basically, you know, just a lot of like, legit mommy stuff like school um in in the midst of Riley goes to school but Evie is still home with me so I try to somehow get work done whether that's branding stuff or I've got a website a lifestyle website called that cozy life or podcast stuff Tuesdays are crazy because that's when our podcast comes out um go pick Riley up from school lay Evie down for a nap realize it's what am I making for dinner because they should be eating in an hour and when is my husband going to be home from work? And my husband is um, an actor on a daytime show, Young and the Restless. So his that schedule, small little show that nobody's heard of. That nobody's <laughs> heard of. Guys, I grew up watching it, which is so <laughs> funny. And I actually grew up watching him on Guiding Light. Like I was oh, straight no up a fan. Like I, yeah. Which I didn't <laughs> okay, tell this him. This is a story that I want to hear. After. I didn't tell him for a long time. <laughs> but Jordy's schedule is all over the place mm-hmm. too because they work Tuesday to Friday. Um, and he doesn't work every day. It depends on, you know, what scenes he's in, how many shows he has each week. So I feel like we are very fly by the seat of our pants. Try to get as much done as you can. Try to get the gym in if it's like at all possible, mm-hmm. because I feel like that's the only thing that helps me with like my, like, oh, yeah. yeah, it forces you to turn your brain off for sure. Yes. And then I am then more productive oh, yeah. and more clear and all of that. So I feel like, I mean, our first our first show is called Work in Progress. And I feel like I'm just straight up like work in progress. This is all still new. You know, the podcast is new. I feel like so. also the life, it's always a work in progress. You're always trying to, shit comes up. Like you just have to kind of roll with it. You yeah. can plan as much as you want, but it's never going to ever turn out that I way. I think I wish that I had known that sooner. Same. And like oh, been same. okay with that. Yeah. I think I was always waiting for... I think I was always waiting for um, my voice. <laughs> hearing my behind own, the scenes, hearing my here. own voice on a video. <laughs> you're, you're good. <laughs> you freaked out. You're good. good. I love this part, you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I feel like I was always waiting to like get my shit together, and like then I'll do this, and then I'll do that. And I think once you realize you'll never have your shit together, life changes. I'm still working on getting there <laughs> to the point where you're like okay with it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. hard. It's hard when you're young, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you, I can already tell just from, like, sitting with you, like, you're way ahead of where I was at your age. Oh, thank you. Same. Yeah. So you're there. And also, I, and that's something that I love about the podcast world, is I don't think we were here. Well, you're not my age. But I, I know that I was not hearing this from people when no, I was 22. I was, not, I, was I was not. I was. It was like, what are you doing with your finance degree? Like, what, you know, that kind of stuff. Not somebody in your ear always available to tell you like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. So, so yeah, I'm figuring it out. I feel like. I love that. That's where I'm at. You're doing amazing. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine having two kids and doing all that you do. The hardest part, I think, I'm not amazing, but I love you for saying I'll take it. I'm bad <laughs> at taking compliments too. too. And <laughs> I am working on that. So thank you. You're welcome. And my kids would say that and I just need to take it. But the hardest part I feel like about what I'm doing right now is it's really hard to mom and wife and the things I do at the house and then also try to pursue 
you know, my website and the Your podcast identity. and my, at which those things are necessary. Like yeah. I, I would not want to have those when I didn't have those. It, there was like an emptiness, but it is hard to do all of them at the same time because then you just kind of feel like you're not doing anything well. So I'm working through all that too. Therapy is great. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast has wine. become my therapy. <laughs> I know like wine is my therapy. Yeah. But honestly, I like that's one thing I love about podcasting is connecting with other people. It kind of recharges you. It gives you you get to relate and see that you're not alone in a lot of things. Connect with other people that you wouldn't have the opportunity. Like I always feel inspired after we do a podcast. So. I literally said when we did it, we had a little interview with one of our players, mm-hmm. Luna Bronze, and I answered some questions. Just a little sneak peek. I said podcasts um, are so crazy now because we it's like going back to the basics of sitting down and having a glass of wine and chatting where like nowadays everyone texts and emails and phone calls. Yeah. It's, it's, it is so much more fun Mm -hmm. than I would have ever thought it would be. It's literally the favorite, my favorite thing that I've ever done, which is crazy because I'm like, I'm 32 and I just found like this thing that I love, but you're right. It is. We're sitting here. We're talking. Yeah. There's depth to the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Everybody's like, being honest. I feel yeah. like like I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared coming into it. But now I look forward to our days when we podcast and when our episodes. Oh, come I was out. terrified. Yeah. yeah, and this is our first podcast where we've done like had a guest that we've never met before. Mm-hmm. Hi. Yeah. So, and, but you have honestly, you've made us feel so welcomed, yes, and I'm so grateful you. because like you being open to the opportunity, like these two random girls from Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, but what? you guys were so sweet from the get go <laughs> too. You. Thank you. And that's one of my favorite things about this. I think if I could do anything in life it would just be make make people feel comfortable mm-hmm. <laughs> like if that was like a job yeah. I would do it so I love that this is a lot of that yeah I do and we have people come in to our show all the time and they are very just very intimidated like as you would be when you walk mm-hmm. into any interview and then I think with my sister and my dynamic too it's like oh my god these two know each other so well and I try to take that into account and by the end everybody's like oh my god that was so much more mm-hmm. fun than I thought and can I do this again yeah. which is my favorite it's my favorite I know. I know. sorry I get off topic a oh, lot no. so, I do so that do it. I love it it's too. organic no I love we're it we're all about it. dysfunction here yeah um I want to ask you though like what do you as a mom and a, an entrepreneur and all the things you do in a day. How do you feel about the word balance? Mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I want to say like hashtag bullshit. Yes. <laughs> but. Because people put so much emphasis on the word balance. They're like, how do you balance this? How do you do all that? And it's like. I mean, maybe if your brain is not my brain, you would be able to balance. <laughs> but I, f- I mean, like you're not a robot. No. I feel like. So yes, balance is the goal. And. It is very apparent to me when I don't have like even any sort of thing close to balance because I'm either, you know, a hot mess like anxiety wise or my husband and I hate each other or uh, my kids like aren't fine with me walking to the other room without following me like stuff like that. I'm like, okay, I'm spending way too much time there that's not healthy for them or for me or I'm, you know, upset about I go to bed at night like upset like man I'm not I'm not working to my full potential on this amazing opportunity that we have in this platform that we have that kind of stuff so like the yuck factor I feel like helps me look for balance if I said how often I actually achieve that lovely balance it's like never but it's like striving for something that we don't ever kind of achieve. It's kind of like success. Like if you're striving for something, you're kind of not ever going to get it because you're not enjoying. And I've started to realize yeah. that too about success. Yeah. That whole, like, I feel that like whole success word and balance success. are two words that are kind of very similar where it's like you're always constantly going through the pressure of achieving it, but you're yeah. you're and not it's getting there. Pressure. Yeah, it is pressure. something else that is pressure oriented. And once you accept so that true. that outside factor is just beyond your control you kind of feel a lot better about the situation I think I've started to really just try to focus on being in the moment whatever role that is for me at the moment letting that be fulfilling and like putting myself there and then moving on to the next thing when I can and some days I don't do any work and some days my branding people call me and be like you haven't posted an insta story in three days and I'm like you know what I've been yeah with my kids. I've been yeah. living yeah. so I get it but you can't let let that idea of balance control you mm-hmm. I feel like 100 percent. yeah it's it's just life I feel yeah. like and it's just a word yeah it's just a word it's just a word um okay I want to that was a good question I like oh, that question you. <laughs> um 
you guys gonna come on just between us and can i ask you that question please oh my god yeah (laughs) but well uh i need to prep (laughs) (laughs) no prep no (laughs) prep required i'll be like "Mm, it's impossible to prep for a podcast like you never know where the conversation is gonna go my my version of prepping is like drinking yeah so. yeah we had a few <laughs> drinks before we came here not even gonna lie D- okay well, you, actually i picture. was just gonna say our glasses are empty yeah um behind the scenes i'm girl. just wondering <laughs> i've we never have, been have, i have never been one to not fill the glasses but <laughs> we have two baileys in the house of another bailey yeah she's so she's like, been a server before you guys i'm a, i'm funny with that too i will have a glass of something before i when we had shay mitchell on our podcast oh okay we were, <laughs> talk to me you know, I love that podcast because I love did you, her. Did you hear She's it? She's a Vancouver girl. Yeah. We I, were I we her. were a little excited. Do you guys listen to your podcasts like when they come out? Do you critique listen, Do you critique the shit out of I yourself? I have to edit them so I have to listen to them back. But once they're <sighs> good, I don't listen to Oh my God. To them. I, I, so let me just quickly tell the story. I said understand it <laughs> instead of understood the other day the on our okay. podcast. And I had to listen back to that and I wanted to cry. We left the podcast and I was like, um, I just want to point out the fact that like you said understand it and not understood. And she's like, what? <laughs> I was like, you didn't tell me. And then my mom <laughs> texts me the day the podcast comes out. Hey, honey, just so you know, you said understand it and it's actually understood. I'm like, Ugh. And and then it today, won't me alone. and the worst thing is they don't die. No, it's oh, yeah. there. It's out. It's, it's forever. there forever. You guys, I did com- I did ads for ours two weeks ago, and they were so bad. <laughs> they were. I mean, I, I I do commercials. Like I, that's like what I do. And I was sick, and I'd been taking care of Evie. Had been sick for two weeks with an ear infection. Jordy had been working, so I was the lovely wife who let him sleep because he had to be on set in the morning. And I was up with her every night and then I get sick too. And then all of a sudden I've got these four commercials to do and I'm like sitting in the corner with like my little portable thing because I'm not at the studio. And I'm like, who's it? And then this is why I really love organic tampons and literally no joke. And I had to do four and they were so bad. And I sent them to our producer and she normally is like, great job on the ads. And it was not that. She was like, are you? They're two minutes each. (laughs) which you're supposed to go like minimum time but really get everything in there you know but there were all these bullet points and I was like I'm sorry let me do them again like right away I was like I'm sorry yeah they're the worst I'm sorry and then she's like no 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 no. I think we can edit them shorter it it happened to be President's Day weekend our producer who edits was hiking as he should have been on President's Day weekend they did not get edited so if you want to listen to the oh, four worst commercials that I you've ever heard we're going to put life, them on our stories you guys go ahead and, oh my god please <laughs> I, I can I tell you I haven't listened to them yet oh, oh I can't wait I, I can't do it like normally I like make myself because I'm like you got to learn from these things oh, 100%. and I yeah I can't I can't listen I mean I heard myself do them <laughs> also I heard myself with the 97 takes that I did of them because <laughs> I'm like, how long ago was that? This was two weeks ago. It's still yeah. a little fresh. Yeah, it's just raw. Still. It's so okay. it's still a little fresh. <laughs> It'll be a month. I You'll called my that. husband and I was like, they were so bad. And he was like, this I don't know what I let you sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, trust me, I did that too. You can't keep the kids out of the room for five minutes. I'm like crying as I'm saying it. I'm sick. Nobody takes care of me when I'm sick. I just have to realize this is what my life is. Oh my oh my I'm goodness. such a giver. I Oh, yeah. That's why that whole, I laugh so hard at your whole psycho versus cute thing. Um, well, speaking of, thank you for the good segue. Yeah. I, was go I don't know if we're that. ready for that, you guys. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Oh. I was thinking about that and I was like, how psycho would I go? Oh, how, how psycho, psycho do, do I go? Be, please. so much easier to find. Is that proper English? Okay. <laughs> Bailey, can you listen to our podcast? Bailey, my Bailey says so many words wrong every week but does she claim to be very good at english because (laughs) this girl a couple days ago was like i just want you to let you know like i'm really good at english i'm gonna play later later she says i understand it and today she goes uh speaking instead of spoken okay when it comes out do you realize it's wrong yes (laughs) right there what i just did that's what i do everything i'm like every day honestly (laughs) every day that she comes over to work there's one thing i think my my brain works faster well than your mouth yeah my mouth works faster than my brain because i just spit it out and i'm like whoa that did not sound right (laughs) so that's like one of those things like the clean house thing like just don't say you have a clean house if it's not clean yes so like you're cool just don't should we get daily a psycho moment (laughs) don't do don't do the thing about like i'm real good at english (laughs) yeah Yeah, i'll never say that that english is my thing i don't even remember what i was saying before but that's fine we're talking about cute but psycho oh it's so 
It's hi. Is that way, what it's called? Cute but psycho. Welcome to That's the better than psycho versus it's cute. Way more easy to find psychos than cute. A way. Why more though? Easy. Because oh. we're psychos. <laughs> yeah, I still I don't have. I still, I still don't have a cute one. I don't. Have <laughs> <laughs> Mine's well, not even that cute. Psycho or psycho? Yeah, psycho or psycho. Yeah, we should just have that segment. Yeah, psycho over psycho. I mean, I have a couple psychos. It could just be psycho, but psycho this week. Let's share our psychos. Do you want to kick us off? Guess first. Is it though? I feel okay, like I feel like, like, like she's go got first. a good one that should like be the end all. Oh, okay. It's the thing is, it's not. What was that? Nothing. I'm not sure. Hopefully, there was something a little noise on the door. Um, <laughs> my dog is not here, so I don't know. Um, yeah, the psycho thing. I don't know. I still like. I'm sitting here right now. Like, do I go there? Okay, I'll share mine. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. First. Oh, please do. Mine. I mean, we can always edit it. Out mine's if you don't not. Want. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> it's not <a> live. <laughs> Yours is probably gonna take the cake because mine's pretty lame. Mine's pretty really lame too. But um, so I was driving home from work the other day and I had gotten ready for work as a server. I did my makeup, did my hair and it was a short shift, got sent home early. I was driving. It was perfect sunset lighting. I was trying to take a selfie. Perfect while sunset I was, lighting. <laughs> it's called the golden hour. Golden hour for sure. I was trying to get a selfie. I was driving really bad. Sorry, mom. Um, and then I, while you were literally driving, selfie. she's really bad at this. Her mom. No to not. my mom, but yes. <laughs> okay. But like you weren't even at a red light. Uh, no, probably. Dude. <laughs> She's really bad. So I'm a mom too. Yeah, okay, I also am guilty of this, but generally because I'm trying to change the music for the kids because mm-hmm. they're yelling at me. Yeah. But still. I'm going to get a text from my mom. And she's going to say, your guest even She's admitted on her podcast, like, broken the news to her mom that she's been in a fist fight. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I want to see, by the way, I do want to see that oh, video after. You have to you show, have to show have me. To I'm really nice person, I promise. <laughs> no, I know that you are. Okay. I've had moments like and that, that where I'm like. drove with an expired license for, like, six months. Yeah. So did I. Oh. oh. In, in the wrong state. <laughs> Oh, with I'm, tickets I'm, I'm okay then <laughs> mine was expired because it was You're suspended oh yeah no i didn't even realize it was it was <laughs> for like a year it was no terrible way. how did you find out well i got a ticket when i was in florida going to a funeral and then well, that's sad. i thought i did i thought it's i paid it but i'd actually gotten events. it was i'd actually gotten three tickets and i only paid one because i didn't have my license the license plate it was expired at my mother-in-law's <laughs> car and i was speeding so i'd only paid one so i didn't realize i was driving with a florida license out here that was suspended for not paying tickets. Oh, no. oh my god! Yeah, no, it was, but nothing happened. Okay, good. Oh, that's good. I don't think I could get in trouble for that now. There's right? no mug shots or anything. We're good. No, there's. <laughs> okay. If anyone's listening who could get in trouble, there, please there. disregard. So, so I feel like I feel like we should do this more often because your mom would be like, she's way worse. <laughs> Thank you for sharing Hi, that. Mom. Sorry, the, the golden hour. Continue. Okay, yes. Yeah, sorry. So then I couldn't get the right shot. I really wanted a selfie in that solicit sweater I was wearing. Oh, you got it though. You posted. Yeah, I did. So I, I did a loop <laughs> around the block and I went the opposite way in my house and I found the perfect lighting. I parked my car and selfied for like 20 minutes. Because <laughs> it takes you that long too. Yes. It's not just me. Okay. No. I like thought it was norm, just my face. Sure. No. I, and I hate that the iPhone flips your photo. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Mm-hmm. It takes it and then it flips it and you you don't Well, because I thought I was leaning one way. Yeah. But yeah. really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's my psycho. It's pretty bad, to be honest. I, was I mean, ashamed. I feel like that's a very relatable psycho, though. Okay, good. I'm not, yeah, I I'm, like it. I'm not crazy. Yeah. I like. No, you're okay. not. No. Okay. Um, I really like it, actually, because <laughs> I just never even attempted the selfie thing. I know when people do my makeup, they're like, "Hey, could you try to get a picture of it?" I'm like, "I don't really know how." <laughs> and it's then hard. I spend 30 minutes trying to decide which side of my face I like. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. I like. I think I like this side better. <laughs> more angular <laughs> so yeah cool relatable <laughs> at least to me i'm gonna throw it back because i was inspired by going away this week and um so before we left for our trip i was talking to jackie i'm like you have to remind me that you need to take the garbage out and they mm. need to turn on the dishwasher <laughs> you know where this is going <laughs> because one time when i went out of time town for like a week um i didn't realize that i left dishes in the dishwasher Ugh. And I came back and I opened my dishwasher and I had mold growing inside of it no. so bad. So, <laughs> yeah, I uh, and I was too lazy to actually like 
properly wash the dishes that I threw them out. Well, still relatable, though. (laughs) And And bought new dishes. You didn't learn your lesson, I must say. What? Because... Wash the... I put the dishwasher on. You were heading out the door to go, and she was going to leave a coffee cup, half full of coffee. One cup, and also, like, I produced the the mugs. I could just get a new one very easily. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't judge you. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm not judging you. (laughs) I'm not judging you. You want to know why? (laughs) You guys really... I'm I'm way worse with everything. Um, I was making Riley a peanut butter and jelly yesterday morning. Mold prompted me oh. with this one, and there was mold on the bread. Uh-huh. Yeah, I. Uh, well, she will. You had mold in your yogurt. She will only eat PBJs though. Did you give it to her? I cut it off. <laughs> Fair enough. Is though. that bad? You no. Think? It was no. like a little bit on the crust. No. I cut it off. I then sacrifices needed. I was like, I when you looked at the hole, fine. It was. <laughs> it, it already happened, and I think she's fine. Like the hole is a loaf. Was it infected or like? Well, it was. It was before the cell by, or the the expiration date. Like oh. technically, it was. That fine. was her yogurt. I yeah, but yogurt all well not always does that. But yogurt can yeah. last a lot longer. But I can't my, do the yogurt thing. No, I hate yogurt. Yeah. Mm. That's okay. it's a texture. But do you not freeze your bread? No. Oh, what are you talking about? I do. Yeah, I freeze. What are you guys talking about right now? Oh, you freeze your bread. Are you changing my life? You freeze bread. It lasts. It never expires, and you just throw it in the toaster. It's good to go, or you can let it defrost, and it's fresh. So, like, if I took out a piece of frozen bread and made a peanut butter and jelly, by the time she had lunch at noon, you think it would be? Or you just put it in the toaster so it warms up, and it's not like toasted, but you just like defrost it in the toaster, and then you just make PB and J. But if I yeah. Something new every day. No Is that more a moldy Canadian bread. Thing? <laughs> Cheers to no <laughs> more Cheers to not feeding my children dolls. And then feeling guilty about it all day. <laughs> it's like, are you sure you don't want to buy lunch at school today? No, mom, I really love when you make me lunch. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> She's like, mom, there's a piece of the crust bread. missing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my husband's going to listen to this and be like, what? <laughs> Okay, hit us with your psycho. So yeah. he's not allowed to listen to this, actually, <laughs> if we go psycho. Okay, Jordy, time you, to turn it I off. Should I tell you actual psycho? Please. <sighs> I feel like we're there. Our relationship, our friendship is like... It's yeah, it's we're also good. a little fresh. Okay. Oh. Which I was like, is this too soon? Um, will people judge me? So my husband being on his daytime soap opera where they like to do all of the things... <laughs> Um, I do realize I married an actor. I do realize I used to watch him do all the things. <laughs> I actually later found out that he did date that girl. So that didn't help the situation. Oh, no. Whatever. M- m- moving on. <laughs> moving on from that to this week. So he's had whew, a lot of love scenes <laughs> on this show, which his last show, he was on Days of Our Lives, and he was like the dorkiest character, and nobody wanted to kiss him. No action. And no, he, <laughs> he got no action. I was like, there's no way a fan could ever like him because he was like going after every married chick and like, I'm going to make you love me. So like that was easier for me. Oh, yeah. But as an actor myself, I was like, oh, I want him to, you know, be able to show that part of himself. So anyways, he gets on the show. He's got a wife, a this person, a that person. There's all sorts of people like in the first week that he's making out with and all of these things. And I'm not okay with it, you guys. <laughs> I'm not okay with it. Like, I... You're trying to be a supportive wife. I get it. Yeah. Yes, I have supported this career. He is so good at it. Mm -hmm. I run lines with him. I coach him. I... All of those things. I love that he loves this job. There's something physically in my body. Maybe it's because I'm Irish. Maybe it's the cancer Oh, I'm Irish too. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what it is, but I want to... Mm, I don't know who I want to punch. Hurt them. But All I want to hurt somebody. Or oh, yeah. do, I don't know. I don't no. know. Like, it just doesn't feel. I could feel, not imagine. It doesn't feel good. Like You want to do what Jackie's video is going to show you. She did. <laughs> that is what I think I want to do. <laughs> but, like, also I get it. Yeah, that's so, hard. like, oh, whatever. So, when he was, like, having these make-out love scenes with multiple people in the first few weeks of being on the show, I was, like, I'm not coping well with this. This is like you come home and I like I'm angry. Like, don't you dare kiss me. Like, get that dirty mouth away from me. You know, like, like not good. Like, I'm like walking up the stairs, putting away laundry. And I'm like, is it happening now? Is it happening now? Like bad. Like I was not doing well. So we have an awesome therapist and we were talking to her about it. And we were talking about things that would make me feel better about it because I get that it's his job. I get Mm. it. Like, I get like intellectually, I get it. Some some chicks, some actors' wives will be like, I'm totally fine with it. 
um, I think I need to talk to them and be like, what's really going on here? Because yeah. your husband's yeah. tongue is in somebody's mouth. Yeah. I don't know. You can't I just don't be know. okay with that. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I have a hard time with that. But whatever. I'll talk to, I'll find those people later. <laughs> but right now we're dealing with my psycho self. So we came to the conclusion that I need to know what's going on. I run lines with him anyways. So I run lines with him, help him learn his lines. And then he goes and does his thing. I asked him, how does it go? Whatever. And then we move on. I never watch the show. I try not to see the clips on Instagram where he's like, you know, these clips of him just like eating these people's faces. <laughs> and and he's like, I have to, he has to post these promos. Like oh he has goodness. to, it's a show. Yeah. I get it. I get it. But I try not to see it. And then we're we're talking about, he was telling me, he like warned me about this. Oh, I wonder if this is a spoiler for the show. Not really, because we don't know who I'm talking about. But there's this person that, and he said the scenes are the the lovemaking scenes, which I feel like we could come up with a better word than lovemaking. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> no, I 100% agree. Uh, the lovemaking scenes <laughs> are like borderline pornographic, yeah. apparently. This is what he's telling me. I'm really actually on Valentine's Isn't Day. Isn't this daytime he was television like, though? He, yeah, but they're they're <laughs> on going Valentine's farther. Day. Wow. On Valentine's Day dinner, he was like, "I read the scripts. I just want you to know. I don't know if I should tell you right now." So I'm like, mm. "Already got a glass of wine in me. I'm cool. Whatever. I act super cool, mature." Fast forward to two weeks later, I'm I'm talking to him about the scene. Like he's going to do it tomorrow, and sometimes he's like a little aggressive with these people. And I'm like, it doesn't come off well. I want my husband to keep his job, so I'm like, hey, maybe you should be a little like more like chill with it, like not so aggressive. And he, sorry, this is the longest story ever. And he, um, he's like, well, when we made out last week, like like that was already the thing. So I feel like, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I asked one thing of you. <laughs> <laughs> not to stop kissing other women because it's your job but I asked one thing and he's like I th- I, I thought I thought I told you you you, you thought you told me because like my stomach dropped yeah. like that whole thing yeah. and I lost my mind you guys the tears were going the craziness we happened to be having our friends staying at the house with us because their house was getting painted so we had three other kids and our best friend like our couple best friends so I'm like upstairs like quiet screaming mm-hmm. and do you know and like those are the words tear, like yeah. I feel so betrayed yeah. <laughs> like all this stuff and like meanwhile he's like I get it he tries to <laughs> yeah. get it but he's also like it's work it doesn't yeah. yeah so I let that happen I um I prolonged that for about four days <laughs> and <laughs> until last night where I finally was like okay I'm gonna have to really sit down and explain to him I might have like looked at his text messages like crazy <laughs> like like old school crazy me like like the person yeah like cra- like, like what is he texting yeah, with this no. shit like whatever you know um and then we talked about it last night I continued to be psycho for a few more minutes just to really get my point across which I feel like I mm-hmm. did mm-hmm. a few more tears and then we came to the conclusion that I need, he needs to make me feel comfortable yeah. in this. Like, that's your thing. I'm supporting everything else around here to, like, help you do this. And you need to make me feel comfortable with this. So he thought by, he thought to make me feel comfortable, that meant, like, spell it out more. Like, oh, she was wearing this lingerie <laughs> and this is where I kissed her. <laughs> oh, and boys. I, no. Oh, my God, boys. So then oh I cried a little God. bit more and was like, that's not what I need. Mean. <laughs> oh. That's not what I need. Maybe like, maybe like when you're carrying her up the stairs in a scene. I don't know. Maybe we should do something. Like yeah, that. I, I don't know. Come home and like <laughs> and like fold the laundry for me and then take me upstairs and throw me against a yeah. wall. Like, come <laughs> on. That's what yes. I need, Jordy. I hope you're listening to this. She gets mean. it, Get dude. Her. I I need some soap opera passion. <laughs> Yes, I'm a psycho, you guys. No, no and that oh, was just no. one. That was just one of my moments. I don't know how you deal with that. No, honestly, that w- I deal with so it bad. not very well. well no, dealing with it better than I would yeah. ever, ever, ever. It's like it's his face. Yeah, it takes a very, I feel like, confident and strong woman to deal with something like that, though, because <laughs> your, your face. Is this like, is uh, one of those compliments that I'm having a really hard time. To- Hold on, let me see. Oh yes, my face is quite red, you guys, right now because I'm <laughs> heated again. <laughs> But no, like it's just I don't think just any woman could deal with that at all because it it does. It takes a security in your relationship that would be very, I feel like, challenging. It's challenging. 
That is the God's honest truth of it. And these women too are like dressed to the nines. They've got their hair and makeup done. They're killing it at whatever they're doing. And I'm like trying to keep it together with the kids at home and I might still be in pajamas when he gets home. And I'm like, (laughs) oh shit. (laughs) Like how, how? But yes, it's a lot of that. Like it's a lot of mental talk. Mm -hmm. I feel like with myself, like he loves you, which I know he's amazing. And he's amazing. He's He's stupid sometimes too. Like, <laughs> like no, they all men like, are. Like when I kissed her stomach, it was only like fifteen oh. seconds. Like, oh, thank, Poor guy. thank you, you just for that, that baby. visual. That turns me on so much. It, thank it, thank it's honestly you. Honestly, sad though when you think about because he thinks he's actually he doing thought he the was, right thing. And then he oh, was yeah. upset that that I didn't realize how much he was trying. To. <gasps> oh, it's hard, man. This whole you. men women mm-hmm. thing though. Thanks. Okay, well, Thanks, we're gonna guys. switch the tables on you here, and like, we're gonna I'm trying to distract. Sorry, you. no, I'm thank you. I, I was like, am I gonna go there? there? Oh, wow. no, I went good. there. Do you no, feel like a I bit went better there. though? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, I feel anxious <laughs> that I just said all this. Maybe we're on a recorded I, platform. I feel, I feel, um, which I feel a lot on our podcast too. I'm like, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot of times, I want to censor myself, and like, People there's like this. to those moments though. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I do it anyways. And honestly, the feedback that we get, it's like those moments where I'm like, oh, man, I should have acted like I had my shit together a little bit more. Those are like the things where people are like, oh, my God, I didn't realize like I'm going through that, too. You Mm -hmm. know, not that I think many people's husbands are kissing other women. (laughs) You're unique for their job. Actually, before (laughs) I want to quickly pick your brain about something. And this wasn't on our little outline. But like, what do you think of the whole everybody trying to push that bradley cooper and lady gaga are a thing oh when he has a baby mama <laughs> well, no because it's just like uh, as a uh, as a wife stars i love a star is born so, but as a wife so to somebody I. in the industry like how so you know what i mean i i don't have a lot of time to look into these things the god's honest truth is that being said i saw that part of the oscars i saw the way she looked at him i heard the rumors i talked to my sister about it via text after And Bailey texted me this Instagram video where it was like, why are people trying to pin women against each other? And it was their interaction. What's her name? Bradley Cooper's? Irina. Irina. And they have a kid together? Yeah. I didn't even know that. How old is their kid? I have no idea. Whatever. Okay. (laughs) Irrelevant. They've got history. And that's like... um, yeah, first of all, didn't I don't like it. So obviously, like, I take her... I, I feel for her. But... I was watching the interaction that was supposed to be proof of like women are pitting women against each other. And I said to my sister, yeah, except you, I could feel her in that seat. I could Mm -hmm. feel, I could feel her being like, okay, here she comes, here she comes. Okay. Yep. We're going to say hi up. Here's the quick hug. Lady Gaga then has an out quickly to talk to somebody else. And that was the end of it. And then she sits down and she looks around because she doesn't know that many people there and she's probably looking for her man. Hmm. So I feel for her. Yeah. I don't know what happened. It's just like, I look at you as the wife of somebody yeah, who's acting. Hard. And I feel like that's so relatable as Irina. And it's something that is so public. And so many people are like, and I joke about I it because felt, I love the movie. Dude, I felt for her. Yeah. I felt for, and there's so much intimacy in that movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. It's hard. And the way she talks about him. And yeah. Like, and it's so, like, if you take if, that, if I had to guess, there's there's something yeah. for with her for him for mm-hmm. sure. Like yeah. whether he has crossed that line, I hope that he hasn't. But he, I think his I think his baby mama has every right to feel as of awkward course. as she feels or doesn't feel. Maybe she's like, you guys don't know me, but I felt that awkwardness with that hug that everybody was trying to be like, see, they're friends. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, no, she's just putting on a brave face. Yeah, putting on a brave face. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen, I, this whole, um, this whole industry is hard. It's hard to have healthy relationships. I get it. And I think that was actually one of the things that prompted Bailey and I to start just between us was because she, she was, when she was dating somebody at the time and he's an actor and they were, they were having all of these scenes where one's on set and the other one's doing this. And then, and I, I was like, wow, we are, there's such a big age difference here, but trust is the same at any age Mm -hmm. Uh, you know like all of these things that you're working on there it doesn't matter like what industry you're in or or what the age gap is um 
Yeah. So yeah, I feel for. I want to give her a hug. I don't know if she wants to be my friend, but if she does, <laughs> we're accepting friends. I am accepting friends, and Irina, maybe she could teach me a little. We something. know you're listening Actually, to our podcast because so. I still yeah. have a hard time with this, Irina. Maybe you're super cool with it. Um. But speaking of you guys getting into the podcasting world, like what was the biggest surprise for you about it? So we've been in it for a few months now is all. We launched in November. Um, I would say the biggest surprise, there's been a lot. It's not what I expected at all. Do you guys feel the same way? I mean, I had done one before. So I helped a brand kind of get one off the ground. Okay. So I, I have some experience in it, but I was, yeah, kind of, it was a little different. It was a lot more work than I thought. Um, it's so much more work. Mm-hmm. She does a lot of, I can't even think her now. She does a lot of the work. So. <laughs> Are we getting mushy? I can't think yeah. you enough either. I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else though, honestly. Like, And I wouldn't want to do it by myself because mm-hmm. I think we have a really fun energy and yeah. it's, we have different. I feel like you're the me maybe. And like yes, a Bailey, one hundred percent. And yeah. like without my Bailey, like it'd be just, boring. It just yeah, doesn't. No, it doesn't it's work good. The same just, way you take on different roles, like yeah. you would with any business. Yeah. I feel like it is a lot more work than I thought. It is very much um, a marathon, not a sprint. I'm mm-hmm. getting that. It is. I didn't realize how. I didn't. I think I didn't realize that it would take us a minute to figure out what people connect with, mm-hmm. and like, like in my gut. I know what people connect with, but there's been a lot of this, like, you know, our numbers involved and, you know, we have these people, awesome people, we've had awesome people on, but like our social media numbers as big of a deal as people think they are. Like, why are people listening to this podcast? I know why I listen to podcasts and it's because I'm getting something from it. I'm relating to you in Mm -hmm. some way. I'm thinking about you a week later, something that you said that like helped me in my life. Like that's why I listen. So that's been fun. I'm also shocked with how much I love it. I love it. It's so fun, right? It's so, so fun. It is so fun. I feel like it brings out like a rawness in people mm-hmm. that you don't get on any other platform. And you kind of almost learn things about yourself. Yes. For sure. For uh, yeah. so much. And and Bailey and I've learned a lot about each other actually as as tight as we've always been. And that's been funny. That's been interesting. Um yeah, it's but it's just it's a growing process. Mm-hmm. But then I look back and it also is like everything's been a growing process and I wouldn't have started this, you know, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do this podcast because thank God we were approached, which was amazing and it made sense and it's something that she and I she and I have always wanted to work together and she was so busy with work that it just nothing made sense and then I was having kids and it's like then that gets complicated. Um, so it was just like the perfect opportunity for us to do something. And we were like, oh my God, it's going to be, it's going to be about this. It's going to be about like navigating life together because that's I love your doing. podcast. Like a, you. we, I think binge, li- binge listen to it and it's so fun, relatable. You guys bring such different perspectives yeah. and I love that. Yeah. Like it kind of shows different, like there's an age gap, but like there's universal elements to all of it. Mm-hmm. I'm trying, and I'm trying, you know, I, I don't know if you do this, but like I pick things apart. Like, how could this be better? How could oh, this be better? Oh, everybody does. I do that a lot to a fault. I've learned that about mm-hmm. myself. But what I do love about it is we thought that the age gap, we wanted the age gap to work. Like, we want to make it work. And the idea that somebody that's, you know, 18, 17, 16 is going to listen to the same thing as somebody who's in their early 30s is actually not that logical. Um, but I feel like, I feel like we're working to make it work Mm -hmm. and mostly mostly because from what the feedback that I'm getting at least is when people are listening to you know she's got a lot of young awesome people that she works with coming on these kids are killing it they are like girl bosses at 18 and if nothing else you are listening to her talk at 32 and you're like my god girl I would not go back there if I had to you keep doing it and, and you kind of look at yourself and you're like, look how much I've grown. Mm-hmm. Or vice versa, somebody who is older will come on. And like when Shay came on and Shay was just like, yeah, you do this and you do that and you do this and you get through it and you pick yourself up. And you know, it's that like- That episode was so inspiring. So inspiring. I talked too fast, I think. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Honestly, like, like I was we just were so, so captivated excited. in that episode. Okay, she, and she is such a badass. So I feel, I feel like we're working on figuring out 
how to and I'm really excited to bring on we've got a lot of guests that are lined up that are a little bit older that have a little more experience but I I mean we've had people as young as 16 Mm -hmm. and I just look at them and I'm like look at you Mm -hmm. like it's Everybody brings value, though. There's it doesn't matter so your much age. value. Like every does, single person. Seriously, yeah. seriously. And these, some of these kids are walking into rooms, and it's like she, the 16 year old, can do it. I can, I can, yeah. like, put, I can do that. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, it's inspiring. It's all inspiring. I love it. I yeah. love it so much. Um, I'm guessing that's probably like your favorite part of it is connecting with people. But who are some of your dream guests? Like, if you could have anybody on. So I'm a huge Rachel Hollis fan. Ooh. Do you guys know Rachel? I do. I don't. I I have been a Rachel Hollis fan since like years ago. Um, she started like a lifestyle website and she put out this picture where she was, she had three kids and she adopted one and she, um, it was like a, a belly that has had three kids and she put it out there and that was how it got picked up by some news outlets and that was how I started following her. And I just kept looking at like what this girl was doing on Instagram and I was like, how is this chick not blown up? And now she has finally blown up. She wrote a book called Girl Wash Your Face. Um, but we were supposed to actually have her on a few weeks ago and then we had a scheduling conflict oh, no. and I was like, no, oh, no. <laughs> but for me, it's, it's not even necessarily, um, you know, we've got a lot of, a lot of other cool people, but for me, it's actually not even necessarily like so-and-so or like this name or that name, because I feel like the podcast that I've gotten the most out of are just people that are willing to share their experiences and have grown and are able to articulate that so for me like I I'm open to like as of right now we've had like a lot of like celebrity guests I'm open to somebody who knows something amazing about what they do or you know I mean we're dysfunctional but I'm just throwing it out there we'll come on anytime. yes <laughs> I, and I, love the, bubbles dis- with I, you I and- love the dysfunction anybody who likes <laughs> wine is welcome yeah. on our podcast we'll come up with some good psycho um moments. anybody who's willing to be honest is welcome on our- and that's what we the response that I'm getting from people that's what people are responding it's what to. people connect to there's such especially with uh, like I oh th- I get so flustered because the digital space is amazing but it's crazy you can connect with people I've made so many friendships and connections that I would not have had the opportunity to make but also at the same time you can feel so down on yourself and I think being open and vulnerable and honest and sharing your truth in those moments is powerful because not everybody's willing to do it and we need more of that and that's why like the bird's papaya I love her she's not afraid to share Mm -hmm. her stretch marks or her cellulite and women are so inspired by that because 99% 99% of us, I think, can connect to that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's this put, I feel like there's almost a trend to do that now too on mm-hmm. Instagram. Instagram's very complicated. So complicated. I feel like there's a trend to do that. So then you've got people saying, like, like that whole woke up with like looking like this challenge. Mm-hmm. Like it was like a challenge to show what you wake up like. You are defeating the purpose of the challenge yeah. when 90% of the people are fixing themselves mm-hmm. before they take that picture. And then, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of that too. And sometimes I feel like I even fall into that where I'm like trying to, you try to be real, but like how real do you be and that sort of thing. And I have a I have a love-hate relationship with Instagram for so that I- reason. Um, and I think that's another reason that I love the podcast world because it's like, well, it's like you were saying, Jackie, it takes us back to basics. Mm-hmm. Like you're having a conversation. It's like picking up the phone and calling somebody versus sending a text. Yeah. Which I don't talk on the phone a lot, you guys. No, no one does I, anymore. No one does. I really but don't like it. Like <laughs> no. we've been talking for almost an hour and it's been probably the best hour of my day. Like it's amazing. And when do you actually sit down and put your phone down and like actually yeah. chat and connect? Yeah, nowadays? I like that we have an excuse to do that yeah. too. Yeah, I do. It's amazing. Um, okay, so we... Did I answer your question? You sure did. Okay. <laughs> um, I remember what it was. We want to flip the table on you because, or whatever you call it. Like, that was very new. <laughs> it's okay. Real Housewives of New Jersey for me, like, flip the table, <laughs> Teresa Giudici. Um, yeah, but you guys do rapid fire. We do a weak attempt at rapid fire. We suck at it. Okay, we well, are here to do we rapid fire. We are down okay. for a weak attempt at it. Okay. We've never done it on our podcast before. Okay. So we're going to take a cue from you. And we're going to give you a rapid fire. <laughs> so let Jackie, we'll go back and forth. Yeah. Do, do you want to start? I'll start. So first thing you did this morning. Oh, shit. I suck at this on this side of it, too. I thought you were going to say took a shit. No. <laughs> first thing I did, decided we woke up too late for Riley to go to school. Oh. Yeah. She was going in late, people. <laughs> Current song on repeat. 
Um, okay, I don't know how to say this person's name. It, it's Lani, Laney. It's actually oh, not a L A N Y. L A N Y. Do you Lainey. just do you just that. say it L A N Y or do you say Laney? Okay, I so I've got that. Malibu Nights on repeat. So good. So on repeat. Good. You can talk. You don't have so to be good. Them alive. It was really good. Stop. You guys saw them live. They opened for John Mayer. Yeah, it was so good. When? So good. Uh, like a year ago in Vancouver. So oh, good. Oh, man. I'm them. so into oh, it right I mean, now. I, I didn't know who they were when they first came on. And then I was like halfway through the concert. I'm like, who's opening? And I was like, oh. This is Bob. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then it was so good. I've been obsessed ever since. So I didn't know they were them. I thought it was a one person. And <laughs> I thought his name was. was Lainey. Yes. <laughs> And then just today I learned no, Lenny, it's L-A-N-Y. Maybe. I could totally be I don't know. That, but I'm just like going in with the confidence. I don't think, saying. yeah, <laughs> I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody knows, but I think you knew it wasn't one person. So you were ahead of the game. I and that, that anything, I, saw them I also, <laughs> and my kids are super down with shallow right now. Oh. But I've complicated oh. feelings about shallow. I'm now. having a I'm stars born lie. party this weekend. Legitimately. Are you? Just so I can karaoke that. Okay. She's having, mm-hmm. she's can a, you sing? No. She not she not she's, not she's gonna dress up as Lady Gaga. She no, promised no. me. I'll you, dress Banks up as Lady. Gaga. No, you and you said you were gonna <laughs> enter the premiere in your theater. I'm gonna make a. You guys are all gonna be in there, and I'm just gonna make a dramatic entrance. Yeah, you have to. But that's a killer song. I don't even so like good. music like that, and I jam out to that mm-hmm. song. We should listen to it. <laughs> Let's. We'll take a behind the scenes. Video. Okay, perfect. Um, go to coffee order. I don't like coffee. What? Okay. I'm gonna it like, is. I'm sorry. Door, I'm going to walk out. No, it has not served <laughs> me in life. I have tried to like coffee. Okay, you so have no idea. Drink? I like gag it down. Tea? Ice green tea unsweetened. Okay. <sighs> oh, I like green tea. And so. then I also, Jordy has this pre-workout like crack that he takes. It's like a, <laughs> like this like pre-workout supplement that's really bad for your liver. So I take like it's a be your shot headline. of that. Uh, Jordy takes pre-workout crack. Yeah. You just, you just <laughs> pop it in your mouth. Yeah, literally, like just, that little, and then chase it down with some water. Why do not you just take an espresso Almost. shot? What is yeah. it, like a, a it's powder or a workout powder, but she just it's throws powder. it in and mix it with like a It's little. basically a coffee. You should, but, but I could never drink it like that because it's disgusting. So I just put a little bit in my mouth. Does it like fizz like pre It does, and then oh, I like, okay. I'm shaky. I have anxiety all day, and I'm like, why am I anxious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh that. My God. Okay, ready? I can already answer this for you. <laughs> Biggest turn off. No, you went to the wrong question. I said coffee order. What's the next one? Shh. Just Why could you answer this for me? Is it not your husband my husband you know with people on this other people? His work? You're damn right it is. Okay, but in general with people, all people. My husband kissing other women. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's mouth touching another person. Yep, that's about it. Pretty good with everything else in life, guys. Um, celebrity spirit animal. Mm. My sister, can I say that? Yeah, for sure. And my sister. <laughs> Last purchase you made. Um, this I'm obsessed with leopard, Ooh. but not as you can tell. Not <laughs> just because it's in. Like I liked it even when it was out. So I bought a cute leopard bag from Anthro. Cute. I also bought a lot of other stuff for a shoot because it's so hard. These shoots are so hard. You gotta um, like change your wardrobe in a day. Actually, no. I'm gonna save this for the end. Okay. But it kind of really stuff. So, yeah, I bought a lot of things that I probably have to return. Okay. And the last three are things that we differ in. So, we want to know whose category yeah. you belong to. So, bath or shower? Shower. Thank you. Window, window or aisle seat? Um, mm, window. Woo! Damn it. Uh, morning or night? Night. Oh, I you're win. a morning person? I win. I'm a I, I go to bed at like nine. That's right. I've never been more jealous of anybody in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I've even. I've been up since five, guys. She's a grandma. Mm-hmm. How do you go to bed at night, though? I went to bed at night. She yeah. actually has insomnia. I was going to say, maybe you just don't need to sleep as much as I do. I do. Um, I think I'm only happy right now because we're in LA. Like, if I was at home, I'd probably be really grumpy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like my creative juices don't start flowing until about, like, 10, 15. Oh, oh yeah. It's like, you try to go to sleep and just everything Ten's comes to your brain. the perfect time. Yeah. 10. Anything okay. before? No. She, this girl has two baths a day. What is that? I know. I wake up and have a bath. Like, it's, what are you talking no, about? I know. So no, I, know. I woke up I at know. 3 a.m. because our flight was, we had to be at the airport at 4.30. So I got up at 3 a.m. And you best believe I had a bath at 3 a.m. What do you mean you have a bath, though? Like, I get my kids Wait, a bath. Whoa. You had a bath at 3 fucking a.m.? Marco polo me at 3 a.m. <laughs> <In the bath. laughs> yeah. 
what, but, but Jackie, no, but that's like, I, I'm confused though because really like I give like <laughs> drink kids, is down we need to explain the this. kids love a bath okay and like they play yeah. and like I wash their hair you I know grew up, like what do you do I grew up in a household with my mom and my sister and my mom always had baths in the morning all the time what, so me so and my sister. She turns it on. She gets in it. She does what you would do normally in, in the shower, sh- and then she gets out. That so, just seems more difficult. So, but I love to lay down and wake up. <laughs> this is I would drown. I would go back to sleep. You this guys. Is also coming from the girl who did not. I have a video of it, which I will post on our stories. We went to work out at. I have a gym in my complex, and she drives in. And she's like, "Do you want me to come pick you up and drive you over to the gym?" <laughs> I'm like, I think it's about 20 steps. I'm good. I'll walk over. You best believe I drove there. It was snowing that day. And then day. she parked by the snowing. gym. <laughs> it wasn't snowing. There was snow on the ground, but it was not snowing I at remember the time. it snowing I'm from vividly. I'm Florida. That, I all have of it video. seems cold. All of it seems cold. <laughs> but yeah, bath. Oh my God. So minutes. how long is your bath on average? Um, like 20 minutes. What? Here's another fact. If I was having a 20 minute bath, I would have a glass of wine. No, but here's another fact. I used to make coffee point, in the bath and sometimes you eat have avocado your toast. In the bath just seems wrong. She I'm goes, <laughs> at the end of the day, she goes into a hot steaming bath with her makeup on. I'm like, does this not feel like the makeup is seeping into your pores and you're going to break out like well, the solar system? Okay, thankfully. <laughs> she, she's doing like the sign of the cross moment. you guys yeah. right now <laughs> thankfully i, I have really clear done. skin so i don't really see an issue with it but i always wash it off at the end i don't like to wash my face in the sink i hate it hate 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 it so do my i sink small <laughs> as hell i do <laughs> and too you just splash on your face i get it it everywhere. doesn't it's not cool so when not I'm in a in neutrogena bath, commercial no, not now i no. agree it's not cool so i get in the bath and i lay there and then when i'm ready to actually get out then i turn the tap on i drain it, and like i use the fresh water to like clean my face and clean my body and then I get out. You're just like sitting there naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having such an image right now. Also, a little weird, I don't put my face under the water in the shower. Oh, well, I have lashes, so I don't do that. Oh, you've got extensions? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's scary. Well, I can and no. I don't because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to die maybe. Well, you also never know who's behind the curtain. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Like I get, so so I do the water in the sink too, but, and I'm also cold in the shower the whole time. I don't enjoy it. I don't try enjoy it. Try a maybe, bath in maybe. the morning. <laughs> I'm like, bath. I'm in and out. Like I have no time to waste. Like get in the shower, just like do a body cleanse, like shave the pits. <laughs> get out. I <laughs> would rather off. sleep too. So that Same. I think yeah. that's why I do like. Yeah. But I, I have to wash my bonded. hair at least once every two days. So no, dry shampoo all the way. I um, try. Okay, we have to wrap this up. Unfortunately, yeah. So sorry sad. about that, guys. No, don't be sorry. But I talked my ass. We off. uh we want to do something that you do on your podcast. Um, you share something that's just between us. Mm. So did I not already do? That? I mean, you did. How about you guys share something? But just um, between us? this goes back to what were you saying? It was. It was about your rapid fire. Oh, your last purchase that you made. You ordered a bunch of stuff. So just between us guys, before we came here, um, I did a Princess Polly order. And I go to the hotel front desk thinking it's going to be a small package. No, it's a box. And it is, um, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> She's holding her hand about two and a half feet in the air, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, two and a half feet. And it's, good um, it's a solid Evie's box. that tall. That's how I knew. I was like, how tall is Evie? Yeah, so it's about, about it. the same size as toddler. Yeah. By a toddler. <laughs> it's a, a toddler by a toddler. <laughs> that I got shipped to a hotel because I'm a psychopath and panic packed when I'm here for three days. I have a shopping problem. We've talked about this. It's okay. Leave me alone. Okay. Well, this completely <laughs> ties in with mine because I got here at 11.50. A.m. Yeah, I, roughly. No, 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 oh, at the hotel. Yeah, like eleven forty. I got into L.A. around like eleven thirty in the morning, and I fly out tomorrow eleven thirty. No, yeah, twenty four hours. Okay. Why did you do back, that? We'll be back in June. We're going ask, for wine. Ask okay. me how much stuff I brought. I bought outfits. I have a suitcase and a backpack. Full. But the real question is, will you take a bath? No, there's there's no bath. <laughs> there's no bath there's in the hotel. Oh no, <laughs> there's not. But that would be weird. I would feel uncomfortable. Okay, I'm gonna tub, go home and have a bath. The tub here is nice. If you're ready for that, do you think I'm Bailey would mind? She would not at all. <laughs> <laughs> she would not at all. That's really funny, you guys. I do you have a just between us? I mean, on, on that spot. note, is that we have to? I mean, I straight up before every shoot, you can't wear the same stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So before exactly. every shoot, I like go do that like anthro run where I land. <laughs> exactly. My husband, he's like, you just spent two thousand dollars. I know, I know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> return it. And then, oh my god, you're my human. That's all I say. Is do you return, return it? it? No, because either but do that's what, I. But that's what you Ugh. say. It that's is. That's what I right? say. I'm yes. gonna return it. I'm wearing one of the necklaces. That was literally the first quote we ever had on our podcast. Mm-hmm. Was I can return it. I it's can return motto. it. I don't, you guys. I don't. I didn't even return Red the Runway Unlimited. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Unlimited? No, I ha- have. Um, don't ever do it if you, I mean, hi, Red the Runway. I love you. Like, just in <laughs> case you love me and you hear this. But, like, I never returned anything. Oh and that's, like, the whole concept is, like, you get stuff but and you return it. But it probably works in their favor because then they're like, yeah. For sure. This, <laughs> this chick had $12 <laughs> worth of products and she paid us five grand. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, they are banking on people like oh me. Oh, my God. Okay, let people know how they can tune in to Just Between Us and where they can find you and Bailey. Okay, so Bailey and I are on Just Between Us podcast. It's on Podcast Network or wherever you get your favorite podcast. I have said that before, you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like most people get it on Apple mm-hmm. iPod, uh, Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've always. It's so good to, tuning yeah. in, you guys. Honestly, like I am, I'm pretty picky with podcasts. I love them, but I won't subscribe to a ton. And I have subscribed and listened to every Y'all episode. I love, sweet. and we it. are out every Tuesday. So. Yeah, amazing. Um, Thank and then, you, my girl. What's your guys' Instagram? I'm at Caitlin Villasuso. I'm going to do Well, it obviously like, tag her and everything. Yeah, I'm going to do it Don't like even Jordy. attempt to okay, spell yeah. that last name. Jordy used to do this thing when we were dating where we would be like V-I-L-A-S as in Sam, U-S as in Sam, O. And I was like, you are the biggest dork I've ever met in my life. Villa Sam. And now I do the same thing. Caitlin Villasuso and Bailey's at Bailey Madison. And then we actually have our at Just Between Us Instagram, which is missing an E because we have not gotten, <laughs> we have not gotten Respect. anybody so Instagram you're like, to pay attention to us yet. Oh my God. So you're like the tween version. So it's like, yeah, it's like that. Like we've gotten reported so I many times. It. I have to do that thing where I hold the sign and take a picture of myself and tell them what day no it way. is. Yeah, but I love y'all's what Instagram. Day it is? See, she said it. Oh, I said what day it is. That's what I so say. I have to say what day it is. No, I actually definitely what day call our podcast guys? that, but it's what day yeah, is she it? she says what day it is. I do. It's okay. I say I don't understand know. it. Really, so. what day is it right now? Though? I had to Truthfully. think about it for a second. <laughs> um, okay, th- friendships, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. We for love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. Welcome us so nice into your sister's home. It felt like... Come move in. Yeah. There's spare bedrooms. Perfect. Yeah. And there's a bath bath. <laughs> you there's a bathtub. There's spare bedrooms. I like you guys. I'm looking for friends. Oh yeah. yeah. In, well, also, I feel yeah, like my June. kids would like you guys. Okay, perfect. In all she loves kids. kids. I babies. love kids. And you love kids. I will be back. You're moving here. I feel like I hope Jordan knows you, you guys are so moving. Here. <laughs> He'll just have to come. It's okay, fine. Perfect. <laughs> okay, bye friendships. Bye, thank you. you.